Another great thing about navigation in Microsoft Word is that it makes it extremely easy to create a table of contents within your document. Just as you see the navigation along the left side of the pane, we can create that navigation in a table of contents within the document. So I'll scroll back up here to a page I've saved for my table of contents, and I'll click in the document directly under it. Now we go up here and click on the References tab in the ribbon, and along the left-hand side here in the Table of Contents group, you see a Table of Contents pull-down menu. There are a couple of automatic options you can choose, or you can choose a customized option. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we can go ahead and just choose Automatic Table 1 and left-click. And we see here the navigation that was in the left pane has now been copied over into the document. We can take away parts of the table of contents that we don't want, and now we have a table of contents in our document that is also navigable by control clicking on the entry you wish to navigate to. So if I hold control and click here on this page 16, it quickly navigates down to Mina Murray's journal, which is on page 16. If you alter the document to the point where you delete one of the headings in your navigation, you'll want to update your table of contents. For example, if I select for May, heading and content, and delete it, it's removed from my navigation. However, if I scroll up and check my table of contents, it's still there. This is easily remedied. We right-click anywhere within the table of contents and choose Update Field. You can see now that for May is gone and the table of contents accurately reflects the document's navigation. If you want to add or remove information from your document but won't be affecting the headers in any way, it's a little different process to update the table of contents. First, Let's go down here, and I'm going to add some information before my first H2, before that 3 May. Now when I go back up to Table of Contents and right-click and select Update Field, I get another menu dialog box that asks if I want to update the entire table or page numbers only. Since I haven't affected the headers in any way, I can just update page numbers, and as you can see, 3 May, which used to start on page 6, now starts on page 10. One final note to point out is that Microsoft Word, by default, recognizes three levels of headings in the navigation or table of contents. But this, too, is customizable. If we click on the References tab in the Table of Contents pull-down menu and select Custom Table of Contents, you can see here in how many levels to show, we can show as many as five or as few as one. But since we'll only use two sets of headings for this document, we'll set it to two and click OK. That's it for this tutorial. Be sure to check out our other videos for more helpful tips and tricks. If you're interested in learning more, IT Training offers a full course in formatting a dissertation or thesis in Microsoft Word, as well as courses in other software for all students and staff. Log in to training.missouri.edu and register for a class.